In this video, we're just going to demonstrate how you can get a colour match on your boat or any other GRP item that you want to match the colour of. Now, most gel coats they come in a colour range known as BS for British Standard or known as a RAL colour. What we have here is an off white panel, and if I take a RAL colour chart, I'll go through the RAL colour chart and see if I can find a close match to this. You might be lucky enough to contact the manufacturer of your boat or the panel and they may give you the RAL code to save you from looking through one of these charts. But as we go through the RAL colour chart, for example through the cream colours, I've found that there's no match for this particular panel. We go to RAL 1015, we can see that that's far too dark. Uh, we go back towards the whites and off whites. We've got a couple of close matches, but they tend to have quite a, a grey tint compared to the panel here. The panel here is more of a, an off white, close to magnolia, which is uh, kind of a cream colour. So now I'm going to have to try and mix the colour myself because I can't get the manufacturer's code and I haven't got a BS colour chart to, to match this. So <clears throat> we know it's a cream colour so if I take a, a cream colour from the RAL colour chart preferably a dark colour because it's much easier to lighten the colour the more it is to then darken it. Uh, for example if I was going to get a cream colour that was much lighter than this I'd have to try and mix browns to to kind of uh, make the colour darker towards this colour here but we don't know what kind of brown it is you, you could be there all day trying to mix it so we're going to take the darker colour and we're going to use a, a white base gel coat and just add a little tiny bit of this until we get close to what we've got here so here's a pot of pigment, RAL 1015. I'll take a mixing stick and just pop a little bit onto the panel just to see how far off we are. Now you can see that's miles off. So I've got some white gel coat here. I'm not going to start mixing the pigment to all the white gel coat I've got here because I've got any waste in the gel coat if the colour goes wrong and I have to start again. I only really want to do a small repair so I only need to mix a small amount of gel coat all together. Take one of these little pots. <coughs> take an amount of gel coat I think I'm going to need for the repair. Pop it in there. I find that when you're lifting small amounts of pigment from these pots, it's a good idea to take one of these mixing sticks and just snap it in half. <clears throat> and that'll give you a nice point to pick some a small amount of pigment away. Give it a good mix, make sure you've got all that white mixed in there, even off the side of the pot. I'm going to put a small amount again on the panel, next to that one that we did earlier. Let's see that's pretty close. If I was doing a very small repair where that wasn't going to be seen so much, I'd be quite happy with that as it is. But it's still a bit light, I haven't put quite enough pigment in there. So I'll take a new stick because I don't want to cross contaminate my pot of pigment with gel coat. So a brand new stick. I'm going to lift out a small amount again. I 
we're just going to literally keep going like that until we've got a really good match on the panel. If we go a bit too dark, I can take a bit more base white and gel coat and pop that in there uh, because I haven't used all of it. So you can see why I, I didn't want to mix the whole pot of gel coat. Now that one's a bit too dark, so I need something in between those two colours there. So I'm going to pop a bit more white in there. Closer, a bit more white, I think. And there we are, I think that's a really good match that one. As you can see the different stages there of mixing. It was, at first it was too dark, we made it too light. And then too dark and we just had to add a bit more white to get to the final one. Which is the colour match that I'm pretty happy with. Let's say for example you haven't got a pretty close uh, cream that you can simply just lighten. You might need to start from scratch using some primary colours. Um, for example, um, to make a cream, it's good to start off with a kind of a brown base. Start adding that to white to make the cream colour. Um, if you haven't got a brown, you can mix that using red, yellow and blue. I just looked that up online to find that out. Um, it's a good idea to watch a lot of videos on um, colour matching, uh, ones that artists use with paints. The pigments work in the same way, you can mix the pigments to different colours. Um, you can even use a white pigment as your base, get the pigment the right colour and then add it to a clear gel coat if you don't want to waste a lot of white gel coat. One thing that's worth remembering is that if you use a white gel coat as your base, bear in mind that that's already got white pigment in it. It started off as a clear gel with a white pigment. Usually light colours have quite a lot of pigment in them, um, usually up about 15% by weight. So you've got to be careful how much pigment you're adding to that white gel coat. A very small amount of pigment like we did there isn't going to dramatically affect the gel coat. But for example, if you try to make a white gel coat into a dark grey, now that may take a lot of um, black to make a colour change, and that's going to weaken the gel coat. So make sure that your, your base colour isn't going to take a lot of changing. Now if you're not sure how much pigment is going to be needed to make a particular colour, then rather than use a white gel coat as your base, use a white pigment as your base. Now it doesn't matter how much pigment you mix up, you then add that to a clear gel once you're happy with the colour. And you don't risk overdosing the gel coat and weakening the gel coat strength or prevent it from curing at all. So I'm going to attempt the same thing again, but this time we're just going to pretend we haven't got that cream RAL 1015 that we started with. We're going to make our own brown and just add a bit to the white. So here's our the three primary colours we're going to work with. And we've got our base white once we've got our little bit of brown. So to make the brown we're just going to take a bit of yellow, 
bit of red to make an orange. Just drag a little bit from the front there. If you need a bit more yellow, If you need a bit more red, just drag that from the front of there. Notice I'm not cross-contaminating the colours here just in case I need to pick up a little bit more. If I do, I'm going to use a clean stick for that. Just need a little bit more yellow in there. Quite happy with the orange I've got. Now I just need to turn that into a brown colour. And that's going to take a tiny bit of blue to do that. That's a bit too green for my liking, so I need a bit more red in there. We've got brown, it's a bit dark. So put in a bit more yellow. And now we're starting to get a brown there now. Okay, now we're getting on the right track, so a bit more yellow. Okay, so I think that's going to be the right shade of brown for me to then create my off-white gel coat and off-white with a, a creamy tint. Because not all off-white or a cream colour. Some of them can be kind of a, a dirty grey off-white. Which in that case, you would just use a little bit of grey pigment in, say, a cream um, pigmented gel coat. It's all about just playing with the different colours to get the colour match you want to create. So we're going to take our base white again. Into a little pot.
Now you see that cream colour we started with the last time, it had quite a dramatic change to the white to get the colour match we want. So brown, it's going to take a lot less brown to change the colour of this one. So I'm going to take the minutest bit and mix it into that white gel. You see that tiny bit of brown's give me a, an off-white to cream colour. Pop that on there. And that surprisingly has been a very good start. That's not far off at all. Let's see if I can get the camera lined up there just to show it. I don't know if the camera's picking it up there. So on this side, that was the sample that we did before with the cream pigment. And this is the one we've done by mixing our own brown and adding it to the white gel. And it's pretty close. We just go through the process of elimination again, adding a bit more white, taking a bit out. Uh, might have to add a bit more yellow if the original panel looks a bit more of a yellow cream. And you just kind of just go through the process like that. You might find after adding it, it is a kind of an off-white dirty grey kind of cream that you try to match and then in that case you would add just a minute amount of grey. And you just play with the colour back and forth until you're happy with it. So if this is something you do on a regular basis, and you don't want to stock all the different shades of pigment you can just get the primary colours uh, so just go online to find out what the primary colours are and then just have a, um, a black pigment and a white pigment to go with those as well um, because the pigments have a much longer shelf life than resins and gel coats so you don't want to be stocking different colours of gel coats if, for example, you do regular bolt repairs, you're always best to have the little pots of pigment. Um, a small pot can go quite a long way. A 100 gram pot of pigment, depending on the colour, will usually pigment uh, up to a kilo or a litre worth of uh, resin or gel coat. So it's more cost effective to have those primary colours on your shelf. Um, unless, of course, you know the RAL number and then you just buy the gel coat uh, from us in that particular colour. So I hope that's helped you, um, give you an idea of how to mix uh, pigments and gel coats. Here's a closer look at those colour swabs that we did earlier. I hope this video helps. Uh, there's many other videos out there as well that demonstrate how to do colour matching. One of the best ones I've probably seen is by a, a, it's a YouTube channel called Boatworks Today. And the video is called The Whole of My Boat gel coat colour matching and the guy there demonstrates perfectly how to uh, mix pigments and gel coats to achieve a good colour match so check out his video also